Hi, I'm Martin from Bosch Power Tools, and today I'm here with UK Planet Tools in Milton Keynes, where we're going to be taking a closer look at the Bosch 18 volt bi turbo range, offering you corded power on a cordless platform. We're going to be looking at the table saw, the compound miter saw, the GKT 18V52 plunge saw, and also a mixture of drilling machines from the bi turbo range, including the SDS Plus, the impact wrench, and also the new combi, the GSB 18V150. Let's take a closer look at the range. Okay, so what is Biturbo? As the name suggests, it's a mixture of two technologies. The first technology is a larger motor inside each machine. This is our strongest brushless motor available in the Bosch range. We also accompany that then with what's known as the Bosch Procore battery pack. The Bosch Procore battery pack enables us to draw more power to drive the bigger motor. So what the difference between this battery pack and the standard 18 volt cool pack is we use a much higher density cell inside the Procore battery. The 18 volt cool pack can deliver around 900 watts of power, whereas the 18 volt Procore battery can deliver up to 1600 watts of power. The Bi-Turbo range is an extension to the standard 18 volt range. This basically means any batteries we use in the Bi-Turbo range can also be used on the standard 18 volt range and vice versa. I can use the Procore battery on the standard 18 volt range tools. I can also use the standard cool pack battery and the bi-turbo tools. The disadvantage I have by using the standard 18 volt cool pack battery on the bi-turbo tool is I don't get the extra power. Okay, the machine will run, but it will only give me the capabilities of the battery. If we remove the 18 volt battery pack and replace it with a Procore battery, now we have the extra density cell and also the bigger motor. So now we can deliver the higher torque and the higher speeds due to the bi-turbo range. When it comes to warranty, then all the batteries and chargers are guaranteed for three years. They'll come with a 12 months manufacturer's warranty directly out of the box. And then you have the chance to extend that warranty via the Pro360 app, where you can extend the warranty on not only the tool, the batteries and the charger for an extra three years. So those are the main differences between the standard 18 volt cool pack battery and the Procore batteries from Bosch. This is the Bosch GSB 18V150C Combi Drill. The machine itself, very small in size, even though it can deliver such huge torque capacities, the machine is still pretty much easy enough to get into any tight confined workspace. The machine offers 150 Newton meters of torque, which is more or less one of the most powerful Combi Drills available on the market today. If we look at the front of the machine, first of all, we have a 13 millimeter single sleeve chuck. This allows the jaws to open from 1.5 millimeters all the way up to 13 millimeters. It's metal and robust. When we move to the back of the chuck, we've then got 25 individual torque settings. So the bigger the screw, the higher torque setting required on the front of the machine. When we come to the back of the torque settings, we've then got the three functions of the machine. So we've got first function, which is rotary drilling, which we would use for metal drilling applications. The second function, is our screw driving up, um, function, which allows us to drive longer screws with increased torque. And then we also have the hammer function for when we're drilling into things like masonry. Behind that, we also have the two speed selector. Okay, setting one is high speed. Setting two is high torque. The machine is usually supplied with either 5.5 amp hour batteries or eight amp hour batteries if you don't buy the bare unit. When it comes to fitting the battery, we just slide it into the base of the machine. And then we've also got some extra features which, which we can find on top of the battery. The first feature we can find here is the kickback stop. Now the kickback stop can be turned on and off, okay? The kickback stop is more or less an electronic clutch. So when we're actually driving with the machine, if the drill bit actually snags, the machine will sense that straight away and set off this anti-kickback. Once the anti-kickback's been engaged, you'll see this flashing light on top of the battery. All you need to do is release the trigger and that'll take that away and you can start the application again. The reason for the electronic kickback is to protect the user. So it's basically not only a mechanical clutch inside the machine, but there's also an electronic clutch, which will kick in instantly to protect the user. Other features you'll find on the machine is something called an inclinometer. So if we want to set the machine to drill, say, on any things like roofing timbers, where we need to drill in, say, maybe 45 or 60 degrees, then we can actually pre-select this on the machine. So at the top of the machine here, I can press this button. It now says 45 degrees. 
There's an orange flashing light on the top of the machine. Once that orange flashing light goes out, it means the machine's calibrated. And now when I tip the machine forward, when the machine gets to 45 degrees, I get the green light on the top of the unit. That means now I can now drive screws in at 45 degrees. I can also increase that to 60 degrees by pressing the button a second time. Just give it one second to calibrate. Once the orange light's gone out, I can now tip the machine forward. And when it gets to 60 degrees, the green light will come on. And now I'm safe to drill at 60 degrees. There's also a third setting on this button, which basically takes me to the app. And this is where I can actually put preset angles of my own in. So if I don't want to work outside of 45 and 60, I can actually predetermine that angle. The machine is warranted for three years. It delivers up to 150 Newton meters of torque. Because it delivers that amount of torque, not only do we have the actual electronic clutch, but we also have the auxiliary handle supplied with it. To fit the auxiliary handle, we simply slide it across the top of the machine, behind the torque setting ring, and then we can increase the tension on that handle via the twist grip here. Now, 150 Newton meters of torque coming from a combi drill, we're more or less into the impact driver realms there. So a lot of impact drivers start around about 135 Newton meters. This is a combi drill starting at 150 Newton meters. This can drill, drive wood bits up to 150 millimeters. It can drill up to 16 millimeters into steel. It really is the heavy duty combi for those heavy duty applications required on site. And that is the GSB 18 v 150 c This is the GBH 18 v 34 cf bi-turbo SDS Plus hammer drill. Comes with a standard SDS tool holder fitted to the front of the machine. Comes with an auxiliary handle. Comes with a mode selector on the top of the machine here where we can select between forward and reverse. We also have Vario lock, which I'll go into in a second. And then we also have rotary only for when we use the rotary chuck. Towards the back of the machine, we've got a decoupled um, D handle, which helps out to dampen vibrations. The vibration readings of the tool are 10 meters per second squared. So this gives lots of trigger time and can be used safely on site for most days. When we look at the side of the machine here, we can all see, also see that it's part of the connected range. So with use of the, the um, Bluetooth chip, we can also connect the, the, um, the drill to our phone where we can change certain settings within the machine to make it more comfortable and easy to use. The maximum drilling diameter in concrete or stone is up to 32 millimeters. We can also drill up to 13 millimeters into metal with a rotary chuck, and we can do up to 40 millimeters with things like core bits. The machine is usually supplied with two 5.5s or two 8 amp hour batteries. And working in conjunction with the SDS tool itself, we can deliver impacts of up to around about 5.8 joules. When you compare that to say the 36 volt from Bosch, that delivers around three joules of impact. So this is almost hitting twice as hard as the 36 volt machine, but it's part of the 18 volt range. Towards the back of the machine here, or just in front of the operator's handle, we've also got a HMI, which is the human machine interface. Here we can change certain settings within the machine. So if I press the button here on the front of the HMI, first of all, the machine lights up green. This gives me an indication of how much charge is in the battery. The battery is fully charged. As we can see, we've got full green lights. Once we press the button a second time, we can then go into favorite mode. Favorite modes are any settings that we put into the Bosch Toolbox app relating to this machine where we can put in personal favorite applications. So we can basically set the the sensitivity of the soft start. We can also change the speed setting when we're actually drilling. When we go into the third mode, we can actually go into soft start mode. Soft start mode is basically more beneficial to the user when we're starting to drill with the SDS machine. As soon as you put the SDS drill bit into the machine and you start the machine, because the machine's got so much power, then the drill bit has a tendency to walk on the, on the actual surface that you're drilling. So by introducing the soft start, this reduces the speed by around about 30% and gives us more control on the machine. And then once the soft start actually ends, the machine basically kicks into full power. On the back of the machine here, we've got the ability to lock off the trigger. Okay, locking off the trigger is more um, useful when it comes to things like chiseling applications. When you do use the machine for chiseling, we've also got Vario lock on the top of the machine. By selecting Vario Lock, this gives us the opportunity to introduce the chisel to the machine, but actually rotate the chisel to the perfect working conditions for our application. And once the chisel's in the right place, we can then just simply switch back to hammer. Once we've got the hammer selected, we can then operate the trigger, lock the trigger on, and we can then use the machine as a breaker. Now, as I said, this machine is the GBH18V34CF. The F at the end of the title means fast change chuck. This is also included in the kit. 
In order to fit that chuck towards the front of the machine here, all we do is pull this little collar towards the back of the tool holder. This will allow, then, allow us to release the S-tool holder. We can then take the rotary chuck and we simply just click the front or the chuck onto the front of the machine. This will automatically cancel the hammer function, so you're not going to blow the back end out of that chuck if you've already been doing rotary with hammer applications. It's part of the bi-turbo range, so it comes with the bi-turbo motor, and it also comes supplied with Procore batteries. This can be bought either with 5.5 amp hour batteries, with 8 amp hour batteries, which we, re we do recommend, or it can be bought as a naked tool, either in carton or elbow. And that is the GBH 1834CF from Bosch. This is the GDS 18V1000 bi-turbo impact wrench from Bosch. The machine has a half inch socket drive on the front, delivers up to a thousand Newton meters of torque, has a soft grip handle, has variable torque settings on the HMI system on the top of the battery, so we can actually adjust the torque of the machine. Maximum torque, as I said, is 1,000 Newton meters. If we press this button here on the front and go to setting one, we can reduce that torque to 350 Newton meters. Go to setting two, we now have 650 Newton meters of torque. And then we move to setting three, which takes us up to the full 1,000 Newton meters of torque. Breakaway torque on this machine is up to 1,600 Newton meters. This is the torque that's used to actually loosen any bolts. Now, bolts can be obviously painted, they can be rusty, so it might be harder to get off than actually put on. So we give you increased torque for loosening the bolts, and that's up to 1,600 Newton meters. We also have a working light on top of the HMI. You press the working light on. This basically shines light onto the half-inch tool connector. The machine can be supplied as a bare unit in either carton or L-box, and can also be bought in the L-box system as a full kit with batteries and charger. We do recommend the Procore 5.5 or the Procore 8 amp batteries to be used with this machine to get the full benefit of the bi-turbo system. And that is the GDS 18V1000 impact wrench. This is the Bosch GKT 18V52 GC bi-turbo plunge saw. As the name suggests, 18V-52, the machine has a 52 mil depth of cut, this is reduced to 46 millimeters when it's being used with the guide rail system. G basically means it can be used with a guide rail, which all of these saws tend to be used with. And C basically means it's a connected tool, so it can be connected to the Bosch Toolbox app, where you can change some certain settings on the machine via your phone. Because it's part of the bi-turbo range, it comes with a large bi-turbo motor, and it's also designed to be used with the Procore batteries. When you look at the machine itself, it's very small and compact. It has a totally housed guard, Towards the back of the machine, you've got a dust extraction system, okay, and the dust bag is actually included with the machine in the box. And we can also attach the machine to something like a dust extraction unit, something that you've got maybe in the workshop or maybe a cordless option. When it comes to making the plunge cut, the actual plunge release is shown on the operator's handle here towards the back and it's red in color. So before I pull the trigger on the machine, I just simply push this little lever forward, pull the trigger, and now I can actually plunge the blade into the material. When you look at the side of the machine, we've got two marks shown on the actual guard. Here at the back shows the back of the blade, and the mark in here at the front shows the front of the blade. So when I actually plunge into the material, it shows me precisely where that blade's going to cut. When it comes to doing blade changes on the machine, this is very simple. We just basically pull this little red lever here on the top of the handle, and then as we drop the machine down, the machine will actually lock into its position to give us access to the Allen key attachment here on the side of the blade. We've got a hex key stored on the opposite side of the machine. We push the spindle lock and then we can release the blade and change the blade if needed. To set the depth on the machine, it's simply done here on the actual depth scale. We've got a little red button here on the front and we can actually select the depth that we require for the machine to plunge to. When we want to do any Bevel cut, we've got a zero to 47 degree bevel on the front of the machine here. We have a wing nut on the back and a wing nut on the front. Once we loosen the two wing nuts, we can then tilt the base up to 47 degrees. Okay, and this can also be done on top of the guide rail system. Once we've selected our actual um, bevel, we can just basically lock it off here at the back and the front, and that's the selected bevel connected. One other advantage to this machine 
is that the blade sits very close to the edge of the blade guard. So there's only a 10 millimeter difference between the outside of the machine and the actual center of the blade. This basically means if we're doing any work close to walls, we can get within 10 millimeters of the wall to actually make the cut. This is handy on things like laminate floors. If the laminate floor has been too tightly fit into the room, we can actually do a plunge cut and strip one end of that floor in a way to give some expansion room. The machine is nine times out of 10 always going to be used with the guide rail system. Okay, so it's basically used for cutting long panelled materials or um, maybe things like kitchen worktop where we need to make a cut in the centre of the material rather than at the end of the material. It can be fitted to any guide rail system on the market, so it fits with most manufacturers' um, guide rail systems. It's not supplied with a saw, but you can actually buy them as separate accessories. The one I'm using today is a 1.6 metre. Okay, we do an FSN kit, which comes with two 1.6 metre lengths in a, in a cloth bag, and also the joining attachment. So we can do up to 3.2 metres or even more if we want to by adding the extra accessories. Okay, we can also alter how smooth it runs on the guide rail system. And we can do that by these two little black switches here on the left-hand side of the machine. As you move it forward, it tightens. As you move it backwards, it loosens. And that's the same on the front and the back. We also have a HMI on the machine, a human machine interface. Okay, this comes into action when we actually insert the battery into the machine. Okay, so when I turn the HMI on, I've now got the option to choose from six individual speed settings. And then when we press it the seventh time, it takes us into eco mode. Now eco mode basically allows us to slow the machine down relative to the material that we're cutting. So the machine will only supply the power that it needs. The advantages to the eco mode is you can get up to 30% longer runtime from your batteries. We would recommend 5.5 amp hour Procore or 8 amp hour Procore batteries, but it can be used on the old 18 volt standard cool pack system as well. You won't get the extra power. When it comes to power and you're using it with the Procore batteries, this is equivalent to say a 1600 watt mains machine. So it's giving you that real power that you need when you're on site from a battery platform. And that is the GKT 18 V52 GC from Bosch. This is the GCM 18 V216 DC bi turbo compound miter saw from Bosch. As the name suggests, it comes with a 216 mil 8 inch blade with a 30 mil arbor. The blade will be supplied with the machine and it comes with an expert for wood 48 tooth blade. This is going to give you clean and precise cuts in any material that you're going to cut. When we look to the back of the machine, we've got dust extraction ports, two, one at the back of the machine and one at the front. The machine is only about 15 kilograms in weight, so it's easy enough for a one man lift. It's small enough to get through loft spaces upstairs into cars or if you know, space is tight in your van, then this is the ideal machine. It's part of the bi-turbo range, so it's going to give you at least corded power, all right? And this machine can produce up to around about 1600 watts from a Procore battery. The machine is also double bevel. So what we mean by double bevel is, once we just release the blade guard here, the machine can actually be tilted 47 degrees to the left and 47 degrees to the right. The bevel lock is situated at the back of the machine. We just unlock this red lever, and then we can tilt the machine 47 degrees to the left, and also 47 degrees to the right. When we do the bevel cut, we must remember to extend the back fences. We can do that just by loosening the little wing nuts at the back of the back fence, and the back fences can also be removed. These are also still connected to the machine with this wire, okay? So that prevents you from losing them. We can also then extend the base plate. We just undo the little red lever here at the front, and then we can extend the base plate out to give us a bigger working surface. When the machine is in the 90 degree position, we're going to get a 70 mil depth of cut via 300 mil. To actually rotate the machine to the operating position, we just pull a little trigger here at the front, and then we can rotate the saw round to zero degrees. Okay, what you're also going to get supplied with the kit is a material clamp. This can be fit to the left hand side of the machine or the right hand side of the machine. And it's dead simple. It just basically slides in and it can be tightened here on the thread. On the side of the machine, we also have the trenching facility. So if we just move the machine around to the right here, once we drop the blade down, by turning this thread here, we can alter the depth of the blade. So if we just want to do some trenching cuts, 
and then go back to a full cut afterwards, we can leave the trenching thread in the same position. We just lift the, literally lift the blade, move the switch back over to the left hand side, and then we can drop the blade to the full cutting position. When we want to go back to the trench, we just lift the blade, switch back over to the right hand side, and then we can drop the blade again back into our trench position. What actually comes with the machine is an SDS locking nut, okay? What we mean by SDS is it's tool free. So when we actually want to change the blades, all we simply need to do is come to the other side of the machine, here where we can find the spindle lock. We push in the spindle lock. Once the spindle lock's pushed down into position, we can then loosen by hand the SDS locking nut in order to release the blade and make any blade changes if necessary. With regards to mitre cuts on the machine, the mitre, the mitre settings on this machine are 62 degree mitre cut to the right with a 52 degree mitre cut to the left. This machine is also fitted with a laser so you can see exactly where you're going to cut on the material. It's also fitted with a working light so if you're working in a dark lit, unlit room you can also see the material that you're going to cut. The HMI here comes into operation when we actually add the battery and then we choose from four different speed selections. Speed 1, Speed 2, Speed 3 or we can actually go into eco mode where we're going to get the best battery performance by reducing the speed for the material that the machine's actually cutting at the time. Eco mode can give you up to 30% longer runtime on your batteries. Towards the end of the base plate here, we've got the butt end or end stop. This can be fitted to either the right hand side of the machine or the left hand side of the machine. And the machine can also be fitted to a leg stand, so we can fit it to all the standard leg stands within the Bosch range. And that is the GCM 18V216 double bevel mitre saw from Bosch. This is the GTS 18V216 table saw. It's fitted with a bi-turbo motor and then used in conjunction with the Procore batteries, it's gonna give you around about 1600 watts worth of power, which is very much equivalent to a corded machine. The blade is able to bevel to 45 degrees to the left to use that bevel lock, we just basically release this little red lever here at the front, and then we can rotate the blade over to the left-hand side up to 45 degrees. To bring it back to zero, we simply pull back to the zero position and then reintroduce the bevel lock. At maximum cut capacity, this machine is going to give us a 70 millimeter depth of cut. And then by extending the actual table, which we do here by this little red lever, we can actually extend the table out to 630 millimeters. If we want to use longer boards, then we can also remove this parallel clamp, and that's just done by pulling the lever here at the front, and we can take the lever completely off. So if we were to sit this saw nice and flush with our worktop, then we can actually put bigger boards through the table saw. The blade itself is a 216 mil blade with a 30 mil bore, and also comes with a blade guard protector. The blade guard protector can be stored underneath the machine during storage. You've also got a riving knife situated at the back of the blade. For cutting thicker materials, you can actually alter the depth of this riving knife to actually match the height of the blade. The riving knife is gonna keep the cut open when you're doing things like rip cuts. On the base plate here, we also have the mitre attachment. That can be fit to the left-hand side of the table or the right-hand side of the table. All we need to do is undo the little screw here at the top, and then we can rotate this to the required angle. Towards the back of the machine, we've got dust extraction. Now we can either attach this to a proper dust extraction unit for a workshop environment, or we can actually use it with the cordless dust extraction system, the GAS 18V10, or the GAS 35L or M-class vacuums. When it comes to operating the machine, all we simply need to do is insert the Procore battery to the top here, just above the power switch. And then to turn the machine on, we just flick the power button towards ourselves and then back in towards the machine to switch the power off. The machine has an intelligent brake, so it won't stop the machine dead, but it will basically bring the machine to a slow stop and stop that blade safely for you. What you also have in the front of the machine here is we have a push stick and that's just to allow you to basically push materials through the blade without putting your fingers anywhere near the working area. So this is just basically here for safety. The machine comes obviously with a three year warranty. Nice and light, easy to fit into any work environment. 
and that is the GTS 18V216 table saw from Bosch. Okay, thank you for watching today's video. For more information on the Bosch by Turbo range, please visit boschprofessionalpowertools.com. For deals and offers, please visit UK Planet Tools, where you can find more information on both their website and their social media channels. Thank you.